was giving me an error that said I couldn't stream because my account wasn't verified. And I kept coming back for months trying to see if it could if I if it was fixed. But unfortunately that was preventing me from live streaming. So I was looking around for for months trying to figure out what I could do to fix this problem because I really wanted to get back into my ASMR live stream because you know it's a lot of fun coming here and hanging out with people and creating ASMR content for everyone and it's also a great way for me to check in with everyone because you know um, I've just been really busy and going through a lot of things so it's it's always fun to come on and hang out with everybody you know so I was really bummed out so the last time I was live I think was like two months ago and last week no I'm sorry two weeks ago I tried to hop back on to Fall Guys and live stream and it was still giving me that same um, error or whatever you want to call it it said that my account was verified but it still wouldn't let me live stream so I was looking around YouTube for quite a while trying to figure out what I could do and everybody's solution that I tried didn't work it was still giving me the same issue so I pretty much um, unlinked my account completely from my PS5 and then I relinked it I had to resign it and then I tried that and that actually fixed it so yeah Thankfully, I am now back live, and I can do more ASMR live streams, and I actually have a bit of a surprise for everybody. I um, just picked up a new microphone, another microphone, on top of the new headset that I just bought. I picked up a new microphone, and I'm going to show you guys right now. This is the HyperX Quadcast S. This is the version that includes um, RGB lighting and it also has different polar patterns. So the mic that I'm using right now is the HyperX Solocast and it is a really awesome mic but it's a cardioid only microphone which is perfect for streaming but it has limitations when it comes to ASMR. So, I do have now the HyperX Quadcast, which has the four different polar pickup patterns. So, I can record in stereo, I can record in cardioid, and I have all these options now. So, I'm really excited to try this microphone out for ASMR, and potentially even my live gameplay, so we'll see. I just picked it up, but um, I didn't film an unboxing. For it, because I felt like, um, I don't know, I just really didn't see an interest in doing another unboxing for another HyperX microphone, you know, I feel like it would have been short, and it would have been pretty much the same as the, um, Solocast, but yeah, I now have both the Quadcast and the Solocast, which is pretty awesome, so, yeah, I'm really excited to try this microphone out for streaming and ASMR stuff, so, yeah. And, and as always, I have my mug here filled with water. Let's try the new blow-up show. Let's get started here. 
guys. I'll have a link to my Twitch um, down below, or you can just search me up. My Twitch username is Slow Motion Card. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna be playing Kingdom Hearts 2 there. So if you want to keep up to date with me, you can also follow my Twitch for regular gameplays, not ASMR gameplays. This channel is exclusive. supporting me. I've been reading all your guys' comments and you guys have been so awesome and I'm really grateful to have everybody here in this wonderful ASMR community. Everyone that enjoys my ASMR, you know, you guys have really been giving me the motivation I need to continue making. Even when I have days that I've been struggling and, you know, going through a lot, it's just the support has been giving me that's really helped me, you know, through those tough times. So, yeah, I do appreciate everybody that's been watching and supporting me. You guys are awesome. But, um, let me know how this microphone sounds. Hopefully it sounds good. I do have a new pop filter on it. It's actually the Elgato uh, Wave 3 pop filter. But it, it does fit on this um, shock mount. Easily, so it's uh, it's pretty good, I think, and hopefully it reduces a lot of the plosives and uh, breathing. Hopefully, I'll just have to check when I rewatch this stream. Oh, I almost jumped. You only get it um, if you download the new PlayStation app. So, as far as I know, this shark is exclusive to PlayStation players. But I wonder if they will bring it out to everybody else in the future. We'll just have to wait and see. But um, I hope you guys. I do hope you guys are all doing well. I've just been going through a lot lately, so that's why um, I haven't been streaming as much. Making as much ASMR content. And that's also because of that um, little error that I kept getting that was actually preventing me from live streaming on my ASMR channel, which sucks. But with all that aside, I'm very happy to be back. And I'm glad to be um, making more ASMR content. Honestly, um, until I, I was in the state. focusing on myself for that time, but, um, yeah, I'm, like I said, I'm just glad to be back, and I think it's, it's super important to, to take time for yourself when you really need it. Okay. This one is a pretty fun map, I would say. Just have to jump through these, uh,
looks exactly the same to me. But who knows, maybe there will be more improvements down the line. We have basketball. Oh, this is going to be chaotic. There's so many people. I didn't think I would be doing a double live stream today. It's cool nonetheless, you know. No. Where did that ball go? No. Wrong net.
to sabotage. It's not right. Stop grabbing me. Oh, that is so annoying. frustrating aspect of this game. The most frustrating aspect of Fall Guys is having to deal with these players that try to sabotage you, especially when you're doing really well. So, I think the challenge of Fall Guys is um, not just navigating through these maps, but also navigating through the players that you are faced against. spent enough time learning how to do something, eventually you'll get used to it, and you'll learn how to play, you know. Is that at the end? Are those the uh, ice um, platforms? And that, uh, what is this? Oh, these are just the uh, the ice platforms. And is definitely one of my favorites. It's a lot of fun to just hop on and play, even though it's like super frustrating. Sonic Pixel Art, yo, what is up? Welcome in. I hope you're doing well. I 
how's your day going so far? What kind of games have you been playing today? I'd like to know. Oh. Give me that bird. Oh no, I dropped it. Oh my goodness. Let go of me. This game has just like really bad um, desynchronization problems, you know, where things are not synced up correctly, where on your screen it looks like you're right here, but on the other person's screen it looks like they're right here. You know what I mean? Like things don't sync up correctly sometimes, which is why I hate games like that. you have players from all across the world, so it's not an easy thing to fix. Ouch. I'm trying to get that gold hoop. Gold hoop, I mean, that golden bubble. Oh. I think I just have to run across.
try to wait until the crowd splits up a little bit more before jumping. Just to make it a little easier. Because like I said, part of this game is trying to figure out how to navigate through the crowds of people. Oh no, I missed my jump. so satisfying when you can make a comeback in this game. Like, there's no other feeling than making a comeback when you think uh, you're about to lose. I'm so glad I was able to go. That was so cool. Don't come into my stream saying stuff like that. Don't come in here saying stuff like that. I will ban you. so I can edit it. So yeah, um, if I see you again coming in my stream, I'm gonna ban you. This battle can help. 
a few people earlier. One of them was really rude. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just starting my stream, so I'm sure, like, a lot of people don't know. Bye. <laughs> Alright. Um, thanks for stopping by, I guess. See you later. still be streaming. so many rude people today. Like, why, why are people so angry at me? Like, what did I do to you? <laughs> I don't know, but it is what it is, you know. Sometimes in life, you get people that are just hating on you for no reason. So, you know, it is what it is.
yourself up to these people that could potentially come in and just be rude for no reason, but it is what it is, you know, it comes with the territory. Exactly, gotta take the good with the bad, just getting ready for bed, and thought I, I'm guessing that says chat.
my next uh, video is going to be, but um, I have a few ideas. I've been filming mock-up ASMR videos, like little, I guess you could call them screen tests. I've been like filming like tests on things, so I'm, I'm just like been pulling different ideas together. And uh, in case you didn't see, I'll, I'll show you after this round if you're still watching, but I just got a new microphone and I will show you as soon as I am finished with this round. right now is the HyperX SoloCast and um, this is the mic that I mainly use for streaming because it's a cardioid only pickup pattern and if you don't know what cardioid means cardioid means um, the microphone it picks up what's directly in front of it so it doesn't pick up anything behind it or from the sides so it just picks up my voice pretty much which is perfect for, you know, streaming and stuff like that. But if I want to speak, like, to the side of the mic or behind the mic, it won't pick up anything. So that's why I just picked up the HyperX Quadcast. Um, this has four polar pickup patterns, and I'm really excited to check it out and um, test it for future ASMR videos. I didn't film an unboxing video of it. Um, but um, I will definitely be testing it out for future ASMR videos because I really like HyperX's um, uh, mic, mic quality because I think they're really good at isolating your voice. <laughs> okay, I wasn't able to qualify on this one last time, but I will try again. And give me one second, Rebecca. I will re-chat in just a moment. As soon as I'm done with this round, I'll re I'll reach out and I'll catch up. So just give me one moment. I wasn't able to uh, read it um, fully. So for this one, you just have to um, pop all the bubbles, collect as many bubbles as you can. Oh no, it's so hard with everybody being here all at once. Someone got it. Someone got that golden bubble. Did I get it? Oh, I did. Got that one. Oh, come on, I only need five more. Where are the other bubbles? Give me that gold one. No. I thought it would expand. 
because, yeah, you just gotta deal with them. Peter, yo, what's up, dude? Welcome in, welcome in. I hope you're doing well. Um, I hope you're having a good day. I'm just uh, catching up with chat right now. I know I was one bubble away. I was so close, so close. Um, exactly, gotta take the good with the bad. Doing good. I'm doing good. Hope you're well. I am doing well. Thank you, thank you. Love your videos, especially your collections. Keep up the good work. I'm glad, I'm really glad you enjoy those. Glad you figured it out. Hang in there. Things tend to work themselves out. I, I agree, you're right. Things, if you just like leave people where they are, I think things do tend to sort themselves out. But with that said, um, like I said, I timed them out and um, I am gonna ban them if they return. So yeah, I don't, I don't tolerate no nonsense here. Don't come into my stream, you know, acting a fool like that. If you're open to it, you could even do, like, a life ramble, could as, get as personal as you do or don't want to, you help us, so I, I would hope your own videos could be somewhat therapeutic for you, too. Yeah, um, I love, um, creating things that will help people, you know, so even, like, um, giving simple advice, you know, something that could be simple for me, might be helpful for someone else, so I, I do agree, I, I definitely think that, um, do my videos help me, do you mean, like, do I get triggered by my own videos, or do you mean, like, do my videos, like, the things I say, do they help me sometimes, I don't get triggered by myself, um, but, um, sometimes, I do watch the things that I say back to remind myself when I'm when I'm in uh, times of stress. So I, I do like I do do that sometimes, like just to like um, listen to the words that I really need to hear. If that makes sense, you know. The mic sounds good, by the way. Oh, I'm glad. Yeah, this the mic that you're listening to right now is the solo cast, Hyperx solo cast. But, um, I did get a new mic, and, um, I, I definitely do want to try it out, so I'm, I'm really excited. Peter said, you have one of my favorite ASMR voices. You're so relaxing. Oh, thank you so much. You're so kind. You're, you're so insanely kind. Thank you so much, Peter. I'm glad that you do enjoy the, this, the ASMR. Um. I've actually always been a quiet person, you know, I've always been a very introverted person, so I think talking quietly, I think it comes naturally to me, just because of the fact that, um, I've always been, you know, um, so reserved, if that makes sense. I guess, like, cathartic, maybe, kind of like you said, it feels good to make something for others. I do enjoy, um, making something that can be helpful to someone, you know, I really do enjoy that process, you know, it's always fun when you can be creative and then what you create can then help someone else, I really do like that, gotta hit the A, but I'll see you in the next one, thanks at 99, oh, thank you so much for stopping by, Rebecca, I hope you have a wonderful night, I really do appreciate, um, all your wonderful, um, uh, your support and uh, your wonderful feedback that you've been giving me. I'm glad that uh, I was able to help you relax or, you know, fall asleep. And if you just uh, listen, then that's cool too. But yeah, I hope you have a, I hope you have a wonderful night. I hope you get some rest. And I hope you take care. I can relate to being introverted. I'm glad you're using your quiet powers for good. I love that. Quiet powers, yes. I love to use my quiet powers to help people. I'm glad, uh, I'm really glad that you guys all love and enjoy the videos. I love making them. And even, like, during the times when I felt, like, low, I, and, and I felt like,
said like something su really stupid. So I put him on timeout. Is there a way I can ban him? Let me see. I don't know how long you've been watching, but yeah, don't come in here and act stupid.
this ASMR stream, but um, we'll see. I'll see if I can edit some things out. What's your favorite kind of ASMR to watch? Do you watch it often or just make your own videos? I do watch um, other ASMR. Um, one of my absolute favorite ASMR triggers is, um, I'll, I'll give you my top five. Um, they're in no particular order, but I'll give you, I'm um, sorry, I'll give you five of uh, my top uh, favorite ASMR triggers. Um, I like camera cleaning, like, um, when someone, um, cleans the lens of their camera. No, don't kill me. Oh, oh, I just sur barely survived that. Sorry, it's, it's hard to, this game is, like, hard to, uh, to talk and, uh, and play at the same time. I love, like, camera cleaning videos where the person cleans the camera lens and it makes, like, all these intricate sounds. That's one of my favorites. I love binaural whispering, like left to right whispering. Um, I love inaudible whispering. That's another one of my favorites. Um, one of my favorite ASMR triggers ever was created by Heather Feather. And, um, I'm impressed by your multitasking. <laughs> yeah, dude, I think I, it's just because I'm used to, um, playing this game, so I I can zone out in this game a little bit easier, so, you know, I'm used to, um, this game, so, uh, I feel like I have a little bit more experience with it, um, but, um, yeah, I like, oh, um, another one of my favorite triggers was a trigger that was invented by Heather Feather, who is one of my, um, all-time favorite ASM artists, and it's her SKSK trigger. That's one of my all-time favorite triggers. Like, nobody else really seems to do it the way that she does it, so. Um, her SKSK trigger is one of my favorites, just because it's so unique to her, and the way that she does it specifically, that's what makes it, like, one of my favorites. You know what I mean? Like, I can try doing it, but I can't do it the way that she does it. You know what I mean? So, I, I definitely love, um, Heather Feather was one of my biggest, uh, inspirations, too, for getting into ASMR. Oh, 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 I'm getting, I'm getting whacked by these hammers. Um, camera cleaning, um, camera tapping, um, I like unboxing videos, too. Like, ASMR unboxing videos, I really love. Um, like... When I was a kid, um, I grew up poor, so I couldn't afford a lot of games. So, um, what I would do is I would watch unboxing videos for newest for the new games that would come out, like um, the new Modern Warfare game or um, the new Resident Evil game that would come out. I, I couldn't afford these games, so my way of like enjoying them would be like watching people unbox them and like show the disc and all that like that to me was pretty fascinating ah uh, welcome welcome in welcome in how are you doing boy -o? i am uh i'm live right now some more live stream, so welcome in. You missed uh, quite a bit of uh, chaos. Yeah, um, those are some of my main, those are some of my favorite ASMR triggers, but what about you, Peter? What are some of your favorite ASMR triggers that you like to listen to? Are you there, Boyle? Oh yeah, I love it. 
watching my stream or did you just hop in right now? No, I just hopped on it right now. Oh, damn it. I really enjoy doctor type things. A classic eye test with a flashlight always gets me. Oh, that's actually not a bad idea. Oh, let me, um, let me invite you, Boyle. Send you an invite. Um, so yeah, someone came in earlier and they dropped the N-word in the chat. So, I, uh, I banned them from the, from the stream. And then, someone else came in earlier. They said I was a loner and I was sad. And then they were like, alright, bye. <laughs> I was like, okay. Yeah, so, uh, it is what it is. I might have to edit this stream a little bit. Because I, I don't want, I really don't want that in my stream. So I might have to go into YouTube Studio and edit some things out um, later. Um, I've been really lacking on the role plays, but I do want to do a doctor one. Um, I want to try and buy a, a white lab coat. Um, I have glasses already. I have masks already. I want to try buying some blue um, gloves. So, um, yeah, I, I think I could do it. Let me let me practice right now. Let me do an impromptu doctor. Let me pretend to be a doctor for one one split second. Let me see if I can do this. Hello there. I see you've stopped by for a checkup. What seems to be the problem? Hmm, I see. You're struggling with tingles. Let me see. Let me grab my flashlight here. Let me get a closer look at you. Hmm, I see. Uh, you have a very big nose, I must say. <laughs> Did you just call my nose big? I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Do you, do you see my nose? Do you see this, this, this big old Dumbo nose here? Oh, Dumbo. But I thought Dumbo has like the big ears. He also has a big nose. Oh. That was seriously so good. No, I wasn't saying you had a big nose. <laughs> no, Peter, I was not saying you had a big nose. I was just saying, like, the person that, um, in the role play that I was checking out was, <laughs> had a big nose. I wasn't, I wasn't saying, like, you specifically. <laughs> oh, you're targeting Peter. I can't believe you. <laughs> no, no, no. But, um, I'm glad you liked it, Peter. I could do it. I just, yeah, it would take me a while to get all these things together. Dude, I have a big nose. Do you, do you see this? Do you see this, uh, this, this thing right here? Look at this nose. <laughs> I'll accept the roast either way. <laughs> That's cool. That, um, like, uh, on the same way, like, if somebody comes in and, um, you know, is not rude, but, like, I feel like I can laugh at myself, you know what I mean? I think that's really important, is being able to laugh at yourself. So long as you're not being disrespectful, um, then I'm, I'm, I can absolutely laugh at myself. But if you just come into my chat and you say the N-word, yeah, no, that, that's, that's, that's not gonna fly. So, you know, I do have boundaries. Yeah. Maybe a dentist role play would be, would be cool too. Oh no, boy. Oh. <laughs> There's only 20 seconds left. I completely forgot about that technique too, where you jump in front of the bounce pad. Oh, 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 oh no, no! Oh my goodness. I had four seconds. Oh well, at least.
least we can both back out now. I love dentist role plays. Oh, um, dentist role plays are pretty cool. Like, I like, um, those intimate close-up whispers are always really good, I think. Tomato. You're a tomato. I am a chicken. Saw Boyo, but I got a new microphone. I got another new microphone. Oh, this is turning into that weird buzzing noise. I wonder if you could just buy dentist equipment online, <laughs> like the metal piece with the tiny mirror. Um, I'm sure you could. Um, I'm sure somewhere you could find them, and if not, I'm sure maybe you could find like a prop of some kind. But I'm like, I'm pretty sure you could find. Uh, dentist equipment online or at least like very basic stuff I would just have to look but I'm pretty sure you would be able to find something online um no this is the solo cast the one I'm speaking to you on it's the same mic it's the exact same mic but I did get a new mic and if you're watching my stream I'll show you right now this is the starting. I know I see I see this is the HyperX Quadcast S this is the version that has RGB lighting. Uh, I see you. I'm excited to, uh, to try it out in my future ASMR videos because I feel like HyperX microphones are really good at isolating your voice and blocking out background noise. I like the Blue Yeti. I think it's a really good mic, but it just picks up everything, including the background noise. And because I don't live in a quiet area, um, helps, you know, having a, a good microphone that can isolate your voice really well, you know. But, um, oh, that reminds me, um, I was saying earlier, you know, I, I grew up poor, you know, I, I didn't have a lot, so I would watch videos of, like, unboxings, unboxings of, like, different, like, tech that I was interested in, like, PlayStation-related stuff, Xbox-related stuff video games, collector's editions, like, I would watch all of that on YouTube, like, if I was interested, like, take Resident Evil 5, for example, I was a big fan of the Resident Evil series, and at the time, um, I couldn't afford the collector's edition, so I would watch, like, a bunch of unboxings of people opening the collector's edition, you know, seeing what was inside of it, and it wasn't just Resident Evil either, it was, like, other games that I was interested in, like Modern Warfare 2, um, Street Fighter, um, Dead Space, Dead Space 2, like all these really awesome games that at the time, you know, like I couldn't afford the collector's editions. And it was like through these unboxings that I was actually slowly discovering ASMR. Because, like, with unboxings, you get like cardboard sounds, tapping sounds, um, unwrapping sounds, crinkling sounds, like, all this stuff, like, triggered my ASMR without me realizing what, what it was, you know what I mean? So, um, unboxing videos were actually my introduction to ASMR. Like, way, way back in the day, I would say, like, 2008, you know, and up when I was really into, like, unboxing videos. But, um, yeah. I know I don't look my age, but I'm actually 26. I'm gonna be 27. I know I look really young. But, yeah, I am in my almost now <laughs> late 20s, which is crazy. But, um, yeah, I was really, I was really into, um, unboxing videos. And that was my introduction to ASMR. Um, subconsciously. your introduction to ASMR was, if you know. <laughs> Are you ready, Boyle? Wait, did you qualify? Oh yeah, you're right there. Boyle. Boyle. Come on. Don't die on me. 
Go this way, this way, this way, boy. This way. Oh, never mind. You got it. You got it. I just realized I'm like slouching down so bad right now. Nobody told me. I have a bad habit of like slouching after long periods of time. I think having good seating posture is really important. I think my friends and my school showed it to me as a joke. Oh, give me one sec. I wasn't able to read the rest of your comment. Oh, I just gotta hope I don't die. Oh, there we go. Qualified. I think my friends in middle school showed it to me as a joke, saying like, this is so weird, but I secretly loved it. Oh, I know the feeling. Pretty sure it was a mouth sounds video, and my friends thought it was crazy. Oh, I see, I see, okay. So, they thought it was weird, but it actually ended up triggering your ASMR. That's cool, that's cool. Um, I don't really do a lot of mouth sounds, but, um, maybe I could try doing one with, uh, with booty. I've had people tell me that my food eating is actually relaxing because it's not like super overbearing. So um, I could try doing like not sloppy eating, but like more pronounced mouth sounds in my eating video. Oh, damn it. Stupid orange. seeing eating I remember seeing you I remember you eating a taco once or something wow I cannot read yeah I did a del taco eating video and um, I also did a burger eating video both of which um, were uh, I think people enjoyed uh, fairly well um, I don't normally do eating videos but it was fun to do I tried doing a McDonald's mukbang video, but the audio just came out horribly, and, um, yeah, I didn't like the way that it turned out, and on top of that, I didn't even finish my meal, <laughs> so, yeah, I scrapped that video, unfortunately. I have been meaning to try and redo one, but I just, I just haven't, so, I, I guess it's hard when you've got so much going on. And then you have people that are depending on your content. And sometimes because of like what's going on in my life, I'm not always able to, to, to deliver and make the videos that I really want to make, which really sucks. Because it's like so many things, you know, so, so many different
always able to create what I want to. And unfortunately, like, I have people requesting me to do, like, more of certain things. And sometimes I'm not always able to, which really sucks. But again, like I said, that's what I really like about the ASMR live gameplays that I do is not just that they're relaxing and but also because I get to interact with people that watch my videos and I feel weird calling you guys my subscribers you know because we're both people you know we're, we're both human so I just I feel like calling people just people that watch my videos and um, you know I, I don't see myself as any different than someone that's watching my videos you know what I mean so, um, I, when I make videos, I, I want to make something that people will enjoy, you know? So, I don't want to make something if I'm not, um, if I'm not in that, like, creative mindset, you know? I don't want to make something if it's not coming from me, you know? I don't want to force myself to make something for the sake of making something, if that makes sense. Because when I try doing that, um, and I've tried doing that, like, I feel like the videos don't come out, like, the way that I want them to, like, they just don't come out right, you know? Is it straight? Oh, it is. Go, boy, go. Oh. What the heck? Nine, nine out of eight. It says I qualified, but we'll see right now. I feel like two people just qualified at the same time. We'll see, we'll see. Am I still in it? Oh, yes. Yes, I am. Let's go. Sonic, you might have to kill Sonic. Oh, it's not the Jogger Man one. Yeah, you can't win more. I don't make it some more money. 
should probably eat something. I think food is really important right now. Thanks for keeping me company tonight. You're such a kind person. I'll be looking forward to a doctor role play soon. Huh? I hope to get started on it as soon as I can. But trust, I definitely will be working on something. I've been going through a really hard time, so you made my night better. Dude, you made my night better. I had, like, all I had before you guys showed up was rude people. So, you made my night better. So, I'm glad I could help make yours better as well. You know? You guys, um, I really do, um, I say, I know I say it a lot. I'm gonna just keep saying it, you know, I, I really do, uh, appreciate, um, everyone that's been so supportive and kind, you know, if you're cool to me, I'll be cool to you, it, it's that simple, it, it really is that simple, if you're nice to me, I'll, I'll be nice to you, some people make it complicated, you know, but it is what it is, like, mm. I joke around with people that I'm really close with, but that's because I'm close with them, you know, like we know each other, but, um, yeah, I, I'm cool, um, I'll be cool with people that are cool with me, so, I'm glad I missed the chaotic rude people, <laughs> yeah, it, it is what it is, though,
Have a good 